my carpet python now, which is always fun because he has a very strong feeding response and infrared sensors, which means he'll sometimes strike at the heat of my hand rather than don't fall out of your tank. Strike at the heat of my hand rather than the mouse. But I warm the mouse up, so he's fine. I'm just gonna get him back in. He did hit my hand once and proceeded to constrict it, which was really cool. Took like a half hour to get him off my arm. Try to get him back in without the rest of him falling out. Carpet pythons are known for very strong feeding responses. And he's trying. Come on, don't fall out of here. Here, I'll use this. Get in all the way. Don't let go of the meal either because. Switches from the mouse to my hand, that's not fun either. Right, I'll just leave this open while he eats. I hope he doesn't try to fall out. He's done okay for himself in this position. Getting him back in when he's done will be fun. Because he'll still be in feeding mode. That's why I never understood the people that uh, think it's a good idea to feed their snakes in separate containers. On the one hand, you're stressing the snake out, moving it. And then, on top of that, you have to move the snake afterwards while he's still in feeding mode. A snake like this, a carpet python, with their, uh, their feeding response. You don't want to have to move them if you don't need to. I have to feed my boa after this, my red tail boa constrictor. He hits like a ton of bricks when he, when he does eat. <laughs> Sometimes he's picky. And that carpet python is just finishing up. about time to think about how I'm going to get him back in there. Because he's got his tail wrapped around that. Yeah, it'll be easy to do with two hands. So i got to turn the phone off. Sometimes he hits like a ton of bricks. Other times he's just literally not hungry. Let's see what we get this time. See? Nothing. 